I would say joining PEO is one of the best investments you can make in yourself as a leader. The success of my organization, a lot of that depends on how good of a leader I am. So not necessarily how smart I am, not necessarily the great ideas that I come up with, but how good of a leader I am. PEO Leadership really offers a place for me to learn about being a leader. I actually started my career in law and I reflected early on after becoming a CEO that law isn't necessarily the best place to learn how to be a leader. And I had read a lot of books. I had done a bit of uh, more formal training, but I realized that the real key to being a good leader was to surround myself Myself with leaders that were the way I wanted to become. I remember starting off and you know having um, a lot of imposter syndrome and thinking I, you know, I can't be sitting around a table with, with this caliber of people. But truly uh, the people around my Pat5 group are incredibly generous in terms of what they give to new leaders. I mean at the end of the day whether you're in for-profit or not-for-profit it all comes down to the people are our biggest asset. How well our people do really does make the outcomes for our business. And so being surrounded by people who knew how to get the best out of their people was really important for me. For up and coming leaders, I would say don't be discouraged. I think there is a lot out there sort of in the narrative about it's hard to be a leader and it's lonely at the top and you take a lot of risks and there isn't a lot of reward. I would say the exact opposite. If you really enjoy whatever field you're in and you see a leadership position for yourself in that field, move to that because the ability and the impact that you have to really change is incredible when you're in that leadership position. It's no longer about what you are giving individually, it's really about how well you can get others to do those things and if you do that well, then it's, it's incredible the impact that you can have.
I would say joining PEO is one of the best investments you can make in yourself as a leader. The success of my organization, a lot of that depends on how good of a leader I am. So not necessarily how smart I am, not necessarily the great ideas that I come up with, but how good of a leader I am. And that's what I get from PEO. <laughs> I've been a member of PEO for four years. To me, it is such an important organization to be part of. So I'd say probably three things. So I joined just before COVID, and at that time I was new in a CEO role. And so for me, I started my career in law, and um, I had reflected on the fact that law doesn't necessarily teach you naturally about how to be a leader. And so I knew one of the best things I could do was not to learn about being a leader, but to actually surround myself with leaders who I thought were really excellent in what they do. And so when I first talked to Leon and when I got to know the, uh, the PAT group leader, as well as the members of the PAT group, I just realized um, these were the people that I wanted to be like and spending more time with them and learning from them and having conversations with them would really help me be a better leader. Now at that time, I had no idea uh, how important it would be because through COVID, of course, the leadership discussions became very, very complex. For me, PEO Leadership really offers a place for me to learn about being a leader. I actually started my career in law and I reflected early on after becoming a CEO that law isn't necessarily the best place to learn how to be a leader. And I had read a lot of books, I had gone to, I had done a bit of uh, more formal training, but I realized that the real key to being a good leader was to surround myself with leaders that were the way I wanted to become. And that's that's really what the PEO mentorship group offers. And of course, when I joined, I had no idea how important it was going to be because that was just before COVID. And certainly, if I thought that I didn't know a lot about leadership before COVID, it became so incredibly complex during COVID that this became a real place of importance where all of us, I think, learn from each other in terms of, of how to lead through that crisis. PEO leadership has, has helped me in a few ways. Um, because my background wasn't necessarily through a management trajectory, it was about how I needed to show up in terms of being a leader and being able to talk to and learn from the leaders in my PAT group was excellent. I also think uh, being the leader of a not-for-profit, we tend to sometimes segment ourselves with other not-for-profit leaders, but there's actually a lot that not-for-profit leaders can learn from the for-profit world. So I think sitting with and listening to the business issues that the other members of my group were, were dealing with was really helpful. And also the people management. I mean, at the end of the day, whether you're in for-profit or not-for-profit, it all comes down to the people are our biggest asset. How well our people do really does make the outcomes for our business. And so being surrounded by people who knew how to get the best out of their people was really important for me. 
PO leadership has helped me enormously, as I said, coming from a background of law, which is a little bit more of a singular sport, um, moving toward uh, leading a large group of people. It was really important to me to be able to surround myself with other people who were doing the same things. And I think that uh, in particular, I'm in the not-for-profit sector. I think there's a lot that not-for-profit leaders can learn from the for-profit sector. I think sometimes we tend to think, oh, we're different and we're running a different type of business and we're mission and vision oriented, but actually we can learn a lot from the best practices in that business environment. And that's really what I was exposed to and what I am exposed to through our PAT5 group. For up and coming leaders, I would say you have chosen an amazing course. I think there's a lot of dialogue out there about it's so difficult to be a leader and it's lonely at the top. What I would say is it's an incredibly meaningful place to be and I would encourage any young leader if you are in a position where you are looking to get to that leadership, whatever that means, the head of a law firm, the head of a financial institution, the head of a not-for-profit, that it is enormously gratifying because what you're doing then as a leader is not about how smart you are or how how well you do personally it's about what you can get out of others and of course once you sort of cross that line then the impact that you can have is exponential because it's not just about what you're doing it's about what everybody is doing on your team and when you see the impact from that uh, you have to experience it but i would encourage you to give it a try because it is it is an amazing place to be for up and coming leaders, I would say don't be discouraged. I think there is a lot out there sort of in the narrative about it's hard to be a leader and it's lonely at the top and you take a lot of risks and there isn't a lot of reward. I would say the exact opposite. If you really enjoy whatever field you're in and you see a leadership position for yourself in that field, move to that because the ability and the impact that you have to really change is incredible when you're in that leadership position. It's no longer about what you are giving individually, it's really about how well you can get others to do those things. And if you do that well, then it's, it's incredible the impact that you can have. So I would encourage it as a, as a really fantastic place to be. Every year I look forward to the PEO Leadership Conference. I think that often as leaders we are very mired in the day to day, whether that be people management or your financial results or the next report to the board, we're really in the day to day. And what the PEO Leadership Conference does for me every year is just elevate uh, my thinking. I go back to my senior leadership team, I share the stories with them, tell them how inspired that I was at, at this conference, and I just, every single year, I learn so much. I usually take about 10 pages of notes, um, but it is, and, and I look back on them as well, and it is great just to have a chance to, to do that reflection, to think about leadership as leadership, and that's what this conference gives. I really look forward to the PEO Leadership Conference every year, mostly because I think as leaders we can be so mired in our day to day, whether that's our financial results or people management or reporting to the board. And what the PEO Leadership Conference gives me is sort of a two day time out where I actually just get to think about leadership. And if I'm honest, it really is one of the best investments that I can make in terms of time. It allows me to think about the bigger picture, to think about the people in the organization. And I always go back and I actually feel the energy shift. I go back more energized, more excited, more passionate about my job. And that the speakers at this conference, that is what I get from them. I would say joining PEO is one of the best investments you can make in yourself as a leader. Now, I came from law, and I, so I know the, the sort of study and training in law, and I would say that that formal education doesn't teach you about leadership. And I think you, you need a few things for that to happen. One is you need a very good mentor. The other is you need to surround yourself with people who are excellent leaders. And from the first time that I came into this group, I remember starting off and you know having 
um, a lot of imposter syndrome and thinking, I, you know, I can't be sitting around a table with, with this caliber of people. But truly, uh, the people around my Pat5 group are incredibly generous in terms of what they give to new leaders. And it has just been such a fantastic way for me to, I guess, catch up in a way because I didn't have that formal leadership training. And I know that this organization absolutely makes me a better leader. I also know that the success of my organization, so Big Brothers and Big Sisters Canada, a lot of that depends on how good of a leader I am. So not necessarily how smart I am, not necessarily the great ideas that I come up with, but how good of a leader I am. And that's what I get from BEO.